he just meant so much to us. It's hard to know where to start. I guess I should just uh, start at the beginning. The way uh, the way people think it happened. On May 28, 2016, a three-year-old boy climbed into the gorilla enclosure at the Cincinnati Zoo and was grabbed by a 17-year-old, 400-pound western lowland gorilla named Harambe. Upon grabbing the small child, Harambe proceeded to stand over him and drag him through the enclosure while onlookers watched in horror. Fearing for the child's safety, the decision was made to shoot and kill Harambe by a zoo worker. The killing of Harambe sparked a debate about the use of deadly force against animals throughout the country and even the world. It spawned a variety of memes and internet jokes, many of which suggested that Harambe's death wasn't just about the three-year-old boy that fell into his enclosure. His life can't merely be defined by the moments that led up to his death. There's an entire secret history that the mainstream media has reported on that will change the way you think about Harambe. It'll prove once and for all that he was and always will be a hero. Now, it's a little known fact that Harambe is a time traveler. And while these claims are admittedly outlandish, we have the proof to back up everything we're saying. Declassified OSS and CIA documents have revealed that Harambe fought in World War II and did something pretty remarkable. After traveling to the year 1944, Harambe became an operative with the Office of Strategic Services and traveled to Europe for a top secret mission. After landing in Normandy on D-Day, Harambe helped liberate France and obtained intel that would lead him straight to Berlin. The intel acquired detailed coordinates to the Führer bunker, where he carried out the assassination of Adolf Hitler. This took place nearly two weeks before the Soviets claimed to have discovered Hitler's dead body. It was all a cover-up. He escaped the remaining German forces in Berlin, along with the advancing Soviet forces, and went into hiding for many years. So what we have right here is a very historically significant artifact. This was the helmet that Harambe wore when he was serving in World War II. Uh, he wore this on D-Day, um, went through France and Berlin with this, and we can only assume that this was what he was wearing when he killed Hitler. So a very significant piece of uh, military history right here. He reappeared on November 22, 1963, in a photo with Jackie Kennedy before an attempt was made on his life by Lee Harvey Oswald. He barely escaped with his life, and the event was later covered up by the FBI and CIA as the assassination of John F. Kennedy. The photograph was later doctored to make it appear as if John F. Kennedy had always been in it and not Harambe. Harambe went into hiding once more only to reappear in the jungles of Vietnam in 1969. His time in country was limited, but he's credited with saving the lives of nearly 800 American POWs, as well as taking the lives of 420 Viet Cong infantrymen. But during his last battle, he went missing. He was later presumed dead, and the military funeral was held in secret. The government couldn't let the public know about the existence of the legendary guerrilla warrior. If information about Harambe's existence got out, the military feared that other countries like the Soviet Union and Communist China might try to create soldiers similar to Harambe. But that wouldn't mark the last of Harambe's exploits. Sensing danger, he traveled to the future and witnessed the events of 2020 unfold. He saw the coronavirus outbreak, the Epstein murder, social unrest, the election of President Donald Trump, and the buildup of hostile militaries around the world. He recognized that the United States was in grave danger of becoming just another fallen empire and traveled back to the year 2016 to warn the people of what was coming. You gotta remember that Harambe saw the good in the United States. He fought his entire life just to defend it. He saw the urgency of what was coming, and he tried to warn us. In an attempt to tell a three-year-old boy about the existential threat that the United States was going to be facing, he was murdered. Murdered by the elitists who were responsible for everything that he saw. Remember, Epstein was still alive in 2016 and alerted the Clintons that Harambe had returned. He was about to blow the lid off of the entire thing, and it's a real shame with everything that happened. We lost an American hero that day who fought to defend liberty his entire life. you got to wonder what the world would look like today if he were still alive. He was on the road to some incredible breakthroughs that would have changed the course of history. But sadly, his life was cut short by selfish people who were only interested in protecting the status quo. 
Harambe will forever be remembered as a hero in my book for his dedication to service and selflessness. He wasn't just a gorilla, he was a hero. If Harambe were alive today, he might look a little something like this. <laughs> you can get your own Harambe mask for five easy payments of $19.99 at...